Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Eric. No, no, check this out. Check this out. This, this segment will blow your mind. This segment will blow your mind. Somebody say mind. I don't want, sorry. <laughs> Show some love to my man, Manifo. Manifos, welcome to Ghana, man. Thank you very much. It's good to have you on the set. Oh, it's a privilege to be here. I like the energy. You I like the energy? It. Yeah, yes, show some love. <laughs> no, my, my, the other surprise, I don't know, some time ago we had another distinguished gentleman on this program, and he did a little bit of rapping in Chi back in the day when he wrote some poetry. And I said, ah, prof, you should go into rap. One day I want to get you and some of these young guys to team up. Little did I know that this young man you have just seen is his grandson. Show some love for Professor Jake Inketia. <laughs> and um, it's amazing, believe it or not, man, we are talking about digital and analog, right. but they have merged. That's it's right. called Digilog. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me start with you, um, Manifest. So you are, you're based in the States? Yes, currently. I live in Minneapolis, Twin Cities, home to Prince. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, but uh, I, I originally went there to pursue my bachelor's. Mm. And, uh, in music, I would guess? Not in music, no? actually. In economics, you know. So I made quite the, the digression, you could say. Wow. Um, but music was always the passion. And writing has always been with me since I was younger. So the, the, the creative and musical aspect emerged more as I was, you know, in... Mm in the US. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so how long did you stay in economics before you said, no, let, let me get out of this? <laughs> well, actually, I went the full route. And, and went did, the full route? Did get my degree in economics, <laughs> which is proven to be useful in managing the music business. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. So you finished your full course? I did. Mm -hmm. And at what point, what was, what, what was the calling for music? What was? Well, I think when one is getting older, uh, one realizes that you might have multiple competencies. I could definitely perhaps could have been an, econom econ econ an economist, economist yes yeah. but then you realize certain things your calling is different from what you are able to be competent in yeah. so uh, music and writing and the ability to use music as a vehicle was always my calling mm. so growing up and feeling that the, my come to jesus moment as i like to call it yeah. and realizing that well this is a time to take my destiny into my own hands and mm. be able to create and share and contribute something to the world that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. So somewhere within, you know, after after graduating, I said, you know, this I have to do this now or never. How, how <laughs> 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 and, 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 and how close are you with your grandpa? When 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 did this link be actually start manifesting in your? Well, I grew up. I was privileged enough to grow up in the same, literally same household as Professor Enkidia. Yeah who I always knew as grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was very, uh, I was very aware of uh, the reverence and, and the, the great work that he had, but I was not quite aware of the details of it. Yeah. And I was complacent. He was grandpa, so yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed yeah, him yeah, as yeah. grandpa first yeah. and foremost. So I've had that privilege, and now that I'm older and being able to dig into that creative legacy is even more exciting, and mm. to, to realize that some of what I think I'm doing now that is new, he was doing in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, Prof, welcome back to the show. Thank you. And it's, it's great to have you back. Thank you very much. And, and uh, <coughs> you, you, you remember the, the, the rap you did for me that blew my mind when you first came? Yeah, I think it comes from my book on uh, Kwan's Assembly. Actually, rap, something I wrote in the 1940s. 1940s? Yeah. 1940s. Do you have it all? Do you, do you remember it? Can you? I have a, no, I brought this little thing with yeah, me. Yeah, so let, let's Just listen to a bit of it. That, uh, you <laughs> and then we'll uh, see how you and your yeah. grandson. <coughs> are doing the yeah. digilog thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the title is Nipa ni Nipa. Nipa ni Nipa. Nipa ni Nipa. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Obi and Missa, Obi and Fro, and I said, Wow, I would tell me on one same for you were them when you are Barbe Julia. And in the Padomno Sorry, what the Missouri decum, or Jury Meha, or Mia Meha, or Timmeha, or Bob Meha, not so much. What to say to the two answer? Mia Mimu Minam for her, Namen Kunma Bojo Prefer. 
Mitri, I see any say, met him as him and cocker will be, then cranny boom from say. To one dependent on my son, the call, when I'm no more, she and the wish here. I want to make your yabba as a men pretty, as a men cassa, as a men chair and say. Universal <laughs> Me de metri su me di de me su hine ebi mada di a konkonsa no mpo nya wa su wanya me ya me kwasi ya we nimi se me ibu wa mkwasi ya na di a nansi ya prede se wanya kwa kuwa wunya afi we ni beti ya ni wadi ya so manifest listening listening to this but uh, prof you wrote this what year 1944 1944 wow Manifest, listening to this, what, what, what do you get from it? What? That means we, listening to this is amazing. It's overwhelming to know that we have such great foundations wow. of rap and yeah. poetry that already exist for us to even use to build upon. This thing that we think is a foreign concept has existed. And uh, Grandpa was actually teaching me more about the, you know, the, also the poetry of the Abrafo, the executioners, mm. Mm. and also how, listening to how unique it sounds, the intonations, and how how much we can benefit from that solid foundation of traditional poetry, which is actually rap, you know. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> Prof, so what is the nature of the collab collaboration you're doing with your grandson? Are you just teaching him or are you actually working with him to create? I, I, no, I, actually he's going by his own, you know, okay. in, intuition and so forth, by what he correct, recollects and by his imagination you know which, which is making things alive mm. you know mm. all mm. the experiences he had in the home you know hiding somewhere suddenly seemed to be coming up mm. and mm. Uh, mm. so i'm pleased to see that uh, there is a manifest m not with a dot on top or below <laughs> but <laughs> right by the m <laughs> 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 Manifest, um, are you going to have an appearance, a show that will feature your grandpa? Yeah, it's, it's in the works. Yeah. It should be in the works. And You're I working on a documentary, though. Yes. What uh, is the documentary? Uh, is it? The documentary is called We Walk Long Distance um, by a filmmaker called Justin Shell, who I met in the U.S. But, you know, it was a fortuitous meeting because he had actually read my grandfather's works before interviewing me separately mm. and not mm. knowing the connection. Mm. So during mm. our interview, he discovered the connection and it, j it just exploded from us trying to plan sort of uh, this um, trip to Ghana as part of the documentary, which kind of chronicles this relationship intergenerational, which shows creativity, the links and the creative yeah. things that we're discovering that we didn't even know existed. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. so that's the documentary is called We Rock Long Distance. Rock and there's long already distance. a trailer on YouTube, so folks can enjoy, can enjoy the trailer on what, what is yet to come and oh, see signs okay. of yet, what's yet to come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Prof, how, how do you feel? I mean, did, did, did you have any uh, children that were in music or your, your genes well, skipped a generation? My children seem to have been interested in music. You know, a couple of them were playing the piano. Another one was acting and singing and, and so forth. So there seemed to be that kind of theatre drama thing, mm -hmm. you know, in the family. My mm -hmm. wife too was, of course, an actress and so mm -hmm. forth, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm pleased to see that uh, something is emerging. You see, I, I am a creative person. I, I write in my study and I think in my study, I play the music and so forth, and I talk about it, but I'm not in the theater. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. these are the people who yeah. are manifesting the actual thing, you know, in a live situation. That's right. And I That's can right. sit back and just chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you retired from music, or now you still sit down and you create no, new stuff? Uh, well, I wanted to, but I, it's impossible to retire because I wake up in the morning, a tune comes to my head. What I have to do is to train myself from working on it because I will take the whole day mm -hmm. just doing it. But right now I have a commission from a university in the U.S. Mm. Uh, they are asking me to write an eight-minute psalm 
for a celebration they have in March. Wow. In eight minutes, Psalm? Eight, eight minutes. A psalm that will last eight, eight minutes, minutes. Co for a chorus. Wow. So now I get up and something comes to my head. I want to work on it. I say, well, I wait. You know, other things may come to my head. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm still alive in terms of thinking about music. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, but I relate also to how this music and the things I found in the music could also be applied by other people. Mm -hmm. So I write mm -hmm. about music. Okay. And I'm doing quite a lot of that. Fantastic. Now. Manifest. Yes. What, what if, if I would ask, what are like the main thing you have learned from your grandfather? The one thing that you think, oh, this is a lesson I can never forget. What would it be? <clears throat> I think the greatest example. I actually say this in the documentary is that I remember very vividly that he would most of the time wake up before me and go to sleep after me. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that work ethic and that steadfastness to working through this creative process mm. and not just being complacent with having talent. That's right. But That's it, right. it demands work. It demands a certain um, amount of uh, commitment mm. uh, that, that, that brings about that genuine creativity mm. that, and the consistency throughout a whole lifetime of, um, of many wonderful compositions and writings. So there's a lot to, to live up to. Mediocrity is not acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, we have, we have just like two minutes left. Um, just a, a bit about your concert in Spain. I mean, was that your biggest crowd you performed for? Definitely, definitely. Biggest crowd in front of 50,000 uh, Spaniards, yeah. um, performing with people like Femi Kuti, um, you know, whose father I've, I've interpolated in the past because I've re I really enjoyed with Damon Albarn of the Gorillas, Amadou and Miriam from Mali. Just so many fantastic musicians standing in front of 50,000 people, an endless sea of people that wow. you can't see the beginning of end of and with hands high, just yeah. enjoying and rocking to, to, to songs that are about Ghana, about the Ghanaian experience, about my experience as a Ghanaian and being an immigrant and all of these things and still enjoying it thoroughly. Music is a whole nother language that you mm. cannot begin to create boundaries around, around yeah. vocabulary or grammar. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> now, put it, my last thing is to put you on your grandpa on the spot. Is there something that the two of you can do right now? Okay, it's possible. I, possible? I, I think I'll like, start like something. Grandpa has a, a gigantic collection. Yeah. So maybe I'll begin something and maybe he will share with something from his collection. Why not? Yes. <laughs> if it's yes. okay. So yes. let's, yes. we're watching uh, Grandpa Professor Ketia and Granddad, Grandson Manifest. Okay. They're okay. going to. Okay. So I'll start like this. I am a living drum. I come from the land of the phantom from when it's time for war, or it's home or war. You can hear me in the streets with bobobo, knocking your eardrums like coco, coco, me, 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 my cipher is infinite. Exquisite when I visit, I'm dressed in leather. Crickety for your listening pleasure. Crickety, please apply the pressure. I beat for the chief, not the court jester. Embodiment of soul, I speak with the tongues of old since I don't like Uncle Festa on. TV, I'm the Ghana Muntie, Sultan and Kao, CM Dotoni, Woman no sit be beneath, but yeah, they they alive and well. Sounds like heaven, but it's hard as hell. They 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 <laughs> 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 All right, and finally, the gran grandpa. Juan Obey, Juan Obey, as the West Kings, you free to ask your busy, and no matter what, you can't fit. And no matter what, we see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. We see the answer no matter what we see. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You said, uh, and your trailer is on YouTube, huh? Yes, it is. It so is. you can go on YouTube and on check the trailer. Yeah, we rock, we long, rock long distance. We rock long distance. Yes, featuring the grandpa. <laughs> the grandpa. And um, I'd like to thank you for joining me. And, thank you uh, so much. Welcome to Ghana. I know you are rocking this evening yes. at the Citizen Coffee. Citizen Coffee. Those of you who, if you can get there quick, 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 you can catch him because Quickly. from here he's going to Citizen Coffee to rock the house, man. Massa, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Prof, <laughs> congratulations and keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs>
Coming up much later, we have Y squared. You know Y squared, Yvonne Okoro and Yvonne Nelson in the house. Stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs>